What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we won ourselves our second badge in the Kanto region. And yes, we had to defeat our girlfriend Sabrina for that. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. She looked pretty fantastic, didn't she, huh? Anywho, that is two badges down, and we got six more to go. And now, now in our next adventure, is we're going to be going straight into Celadon City. And, uh... I guess the plan is to just win as many badges as possible before we start getting down to the nitty gritty and all that crud. Now there is an item right there. We're gonna be speeding through battling all these people right here. Now, the nitty gritty are the legendary Pokemon because you you guys already know there's some roaming Pokemon down in, in Kanto or Johto. And then some event Pokemon that many of you guys you know would like to see here. Just a lot of stuff guys, just a lot. And well, there's a notice. Uncoth trainers have been holding battles in the uh, underground bath. Because of the rising complaints of by the local residents, the uh, underground path has been sealed from Deathly. Signed, the Celadon Police. We'll see about that. We shall see. So, anywho, here we are, guys. Celadon City. The biggest city. The most awesome city. So, this place right here has its own cell, uh, its own department store, you know, the cycling road, this old man with his big old pond, you know, a lot of grimer just started to, uh, you know, invaded and all that stuff, and well, what else? Here? Oh yeah, we do have the gaming corner, which used to be the rocket corner, many of you guys already know, yes, Team Rocket was in there. Now, what, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be paying a few visits here and there, Here's the old lady who has a bunch of Pokemon, and she's gonna be like, hey, "Do you need anything?" I am the manager of the com uh, condominiums. Uh, it's pretty safe around here, so I don't have to do much to do. I like to take my Pokemon out to occupy myself. By the way, we have two elevators here. Don't get confused. Two elevators. Huh. So, if you guys remember, back in the day, there was a uh, you know there was an individual right here. Let's see. What is this? The elevator goes straight between the first and the third floors, okay. And take this elevator to the roof. Um, if you guys remember, this place was home to an individual that would give you a free... Uh, yeah, it would give you a free Eevee. And I kind of want to see where, where he's at now, especially in Generation 2. And look at that, wow! Look at that, okay, alrighty! Now, I kind of feel like there's an item right here. No, there's no item, but I, I do want to talk to that guy right there. So, let's see. There's the individual, I think, that was, you know, he actually, you know, gave us the EV. And he's going to be like, let me recount a terrifying tale. Then again, it's not as scary while it's still light outside. Come back after sunset, okay? Okay, all right. Well, I'm kind of doing this. I don't think I'm going to be back to him. He's going to be telling me this. So, the tale is... The cycling road, how like, you know, his, how his, uh, what was it called, uh, how his, uh, you know, his bike was going backwards instead of forward, you know, that kind of stuff. I'm kind of doing this ahead of time because, well, I'm currently watching WrestleMania, yes. As many of you guys already know, I am a big fan of wrestling, and, uh, well, I kind of don't like missing that. I got the Super Bowl and then the WrestleMania, both my Super Bowls, so we're going to be going right here, let's see. We're gonna be going back again. Let's go ahead and speed this through. Game Freak only. Now, there are three things. Let's go straight to the roof first because there is an individual I would like to talk to. See if he actually gives me any kind of free items and stuff. And there he is. High places. I do love them so. I'd say that the only thing that loves heights as much as me is smoke. Okay, smoke. Seriously, you mean my Pokemon smoke? I don't know. Okay, so we're gonna GTFO right here because, well, we, we we have nothing else to do. Let's go straight into the Game Freak corner. And would you look at that. Mm, 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 mm. Our other girlfriend, Lyra, is gonna be like, Hi, Draven! Guess what? The sound designer over there showed me something cool. It's a high-tech retro machine to listen to music from the Game Boy. He said he'll give it to anyone who's collected all of the Kanto badges. Why don't you, uh, why don't you go for it, Draven? See ya! So, as many of you guys already know, there is an individual right here that will give you the old gaming, uh, the old songs from the, the, the original games, you know, gold, silver, crystal, red, blue, yellow, and all that stuff. Yeah, we really don't have a lot of time for all that stuff, but, you know, we'll eventually, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll eventually showcase it at some point. Anywho, let's see. 
I guess we could go into the gaming corner right here. That way you guys can see what's up. It's really not a lot. They just shrunk it. Mr. Game, why don't you come across and see how you play. It's the same thing as in Goldenrod City. Not a lot of uh, fun stuff right there. So, what's going to happen, guys, is I need to switch out my Pokemon because, uh, well, uh, yeah. Yeah, we kind of need cut for this situation. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys. And we're going to be going straight to the Pokemon Gym. And the Pokemon of my choice is not going to be a Pokemon I'm going to be using for this particular gym. Got myself a Scyther. Yeah. I think it's the Scyther that I used for the... Or the, Scy the Scyther that I thought would win me the Bug Catching Con Contest and all that stuff. So, let's see. Uh, well, as many of you guys already know, this is the Sailodon City Gym. The leader is Erica, the nature-loving princess. And here we have the old pervert that we have seen before. Haha, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of strong trainers. Now, they changed that because, well, you know, who wants a pervert outside of the gym and all that stuff? Okay, so here it is, guys, the Celadon City Gym. As you can see, you do need a Pokemon that knows Cut in order to pass by here. This place is also home to a lot of Grass-type users. And, well, we are keeping the same team. Of course, we're going to leave Dark Side with us because, well, we kind of need it to evolve into a uh, lar or to... To what, what, what you what you might call it, Ton or something like that. You know, I can't even remember the name. Uh, oh yes, uh, with Tyranitar. You know, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. And well, we're gonna be battling everybody and their grandmothers. We protect Erica. We're going to protect Erica. Okay, so here it is, first double battle, and we got we got Joe and Zoe, and well, they're gonna be coming out with some pretty good Pokemon right here. So let's go straight for a flamethrower. And an aerial ace attack right here. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. And Protect has, well, Protect has failed you. So here we go. And just like that, Cinder does all the work while everybody mooches off. Okay. So let's see. Where do we have to go? Now, this place is usually confusing and all that stuff. So let's go right ahead and uh, actually, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Hmm. Huh. You know what? Hercules needs a little love too because, you know, we've barely been using him. So. Let's go right here, see what she's all about. There's no way I'll let someone, uh, some unknown trainer go straight to Erica. Yeah, don't say. So here we go, taking on another trainer. Let's go straight for Aerial Ace. And, well, we're going to continue on right here. Aerial Ace for the win. Dark Side grows to level 47, and it's learning Earthquake. Told you guys. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and take away Thrash because, well, it's not much of a move that we would like to use anymore. And that conserves the Earthquake attack that we have as a TM. And, well, look at this. Bam, we win. Okay. So that's another victory for us right there. And, well, we're going to continue, continue going on around here. And here we have a trainer waiting for us right there. Do you think a girl's only gym is rare? I think. Now, comment down below, guys, in all the gym battles, gyms that we've been through, kind of came across through, how many only girls gyms has there been? Comment down below, guys. I think this is the only one, and, well, look at that. Hercules kicking some butt, taking some names and all that stuff. Okay, the goal is get to level 45. Bring it on. How can I get you to understand my hobby, which is, well, talking in a deep voice? The fuck? Okay, so... Let's go right ahead and uh, continue on our little onslaught right here. So here we go, Aerial Ace. We get paralyzed and just like that. And here comes a Parasect. You know what, let's continue on right here. Give love to where Hercules has it. And well, Carnivine is coming out. And let's go ahead and do this. And just like that, level 45 Hercules. And Julia has been defeated. Okay. So there is one little thing I forgot to do, guys. I will be right back. I'm gonna go get him. Alrighty guys, so here we are back and the Pokemon I needed to get was Togepri. Completely forgot that this Pokemon was a gra or a uh, flying type Pokemon. So I decided to take away a uh, good old Fluffball for the time being. So let's go right ahead and give Togepri the love it deserves. And uh, well, let's go right ahead and do that. Okay, so there she is. Mm, 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 mm. Erica looking regal as always. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? It's so pleasant. I'm afraid I might doze off. My name is Erica. I am the leader of the Celadon Gym. Oh, you're from Johto, you say? How nice. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that you you wish to challenge me. I know. 
I've been training myself on not only flower arrangement, but also Pokemon battles. I shall not lose. Okay, so here we go, taking on Erica herself, and well, she's ready to go right here. So here we go, gym leader Erica ready to battle, and she's going to be coming out with a jump bluff. So let's go right ahead and go with a fly attack right here. And that sunlight is going to mess us up, and well, look at that. Okay, so that is not going to be good. So let's go straight for Cinder right here. And... Well, Tangle is right there. There's sunlight, and here comes a ring out. And that right there messes us up, but the sunlight is going to help us in just a little bit. Let's go with straight for, you know, another Cinder attack right here. Flamethrower for the win. Look at that. Level 46 or 56 Pokemon right here. And, yeah, she's going to be coming out with some pretty strong Grass-type Pokemon. Blossom, Victory Bell, Tangela. Surprised that she hasn't used, like, the fully evolved form. And, well, here comes Sunny Day. You messed yourself up. No, we got messed up ourselves. But it is a sunny day. You guys did miss... You guys already know where this is going. So let's go straight for Rainbow Chicken. Rainbow Chicken. Sacred Fire. There we go. And, well, it's almost growing to level 47. So here comes a Jump Bluff. And, well, let's go straight for a Sacred Fire. You can leash see this all you want, but Rainbow Chicken himself going to defeat you. Jump Bluff defeated. Rainbow Chicken, get some points, grows to level 47, and yes, we win. Oh, I can see defeat. You're remarkably strong. I shall give you the Rainbow Badge. And look at that, throwing out the peace sign, guys. I am throwing out that peace sign. Okay, so there it is. We got the Rainbow Badge. That was a delightfully, or de a delightful match. I, I felt inspired. Please, I wish you to have this TM19 as a special token, and it is Giga Drain. It is a wonderful move that drains half the damage it inflicts to heal your Pokemon. It is indeed a horrifying move. And there it is. We got ourselves the TM19, guys. We win. Losing leaves a bitter uh, aftertaste, but knowing that there are strong trainers spurs me to do better. And yeah, she's saying the same thing over and over. Okay, so that right there is our third badge in the Kanto region. Now, you would think that would be done right now, but there's quite a few things that I need to show you guys, especially when I was off screen. Kind of realized that there's a there's something something right here, and if I could just get okay. So where in the heck do I go? See, you have to go in the right spot. Okay, come on. Okay, so where do we go? Okay, so we go right here. Probably I don't even know. So yeah, there's quite a few things that I want to show you guys before we uh, finish off this episode. I think we're gonna be taking a, a trip. We're gonna be taking a trip. Uh, to the Celadon department store because there is a uh, something that we need to show you guys not big uh well I wouldn't say it's not big of importance but it's something right like it's something that you guys should probably uh take notice and I'm trying to get the heck out of here holy crud okay right here come on let my people go there it is guys okay of course our mother is going to be calling us and well let's go ahead and fly back Let's just fly back to Celadon, and bam, we are back. Okay, so there is something that you guys can actually find right here in uh, the Celadon department store, and that is that you can find a gym leader from the uh, from the Sinnoh region, and there he is, Crasher Wake. Look at this guy. Hmm. 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 Ha! Huh. This is quite a mask. Huh? You talking to me? Your eyes. Are you on my Crash Awake mask? No, 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 I could never let it go. Huh, that's not it. Do you want another mask? Um, okay. And, well, we get ourselves a Turtwig mask. Okay, and what? That was not enough? You're quite the negotiator for your age. All right, I'll give you this one, too. We got ourselves a Chimchar mask as well, which I guess is pretty cool. And, all right, all right, I'll give you a much a valued one as well. And a Piplup mask, okay. A Piplup mask. It's okay. I've already paid for you. Presents for you are uh, presents for you from the one who wears masks is the best. Don't be shy. <laughs> so if you guys don't know, that is Crash Your Wake from the Sinnoh region. And yes, many of you guys already know we finished uh, Pokemon Emerald. Well, not really. We finished the game, the main game. And uh, we are actually thinking. Hold, hold the phone. Our mom called us twice. 
Um, we are thinking of doing Pokemon Platinum again, and well, let's see. Good day. Let's see. Char Charchi berries and Habam berries, and there's nothing else. Okay, so yes, our mom likes to give us a lot of berries and all that stuff. I don't even know why. So, yes, that has been it, guys. In the next episode, we're going to be going into the cycling road. And as always, yes, we're going to be speeding it up because, well, we kind of don't really need to do much there except go to Fuchsia City. So, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient. Remember, I announced it a few episodes ago. I now opened a a, uh, a fan store, I believe that's what it was called. A, you know, a, you know... I'm now selling some uh, some uh, merchandise right there. Yeah, merch merch uh, yeah merch store and all that stuff. So if you guys want to take a gander on that and be supportive, that'd be great. Other than that, guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode as we continue our adventure right here in the Kanto region. See you guys.